Welcome back everybody to another Swift iOS tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go over a couple examples of how to use the AB Speech Synthesizer class. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's create a new Xcode project. We're going to choose iOS and Single View App. Click Next. Let's just call this Speech Next and we'll save it onto our desktop. The first thing we want to do is set up our storyboard and we're going to put a button onto the storyboard and we'll title this speak then we're going to use a label and this will be the text that will be spoken when we press the button okay let's go to the assistant view put our view controller next to our storyboard now let's go ahead and hook up our button and our label so we'll click on the button and we'll hold down control and drag over. Let's just call this speak. We need to make it an action. UI button. Connect. Let's click on our label, hold control and drag. We'll just call this label and we're going to leave it as an outlet. Connect. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and import AB Foundation. Now, let's go ahead and create our synthesizer variable so we can use the AB Speech Synthesizer class. If we click on the class over here, we get a short description. AV Speech Synthesizer allows speaking of speech utterances with a basic queuing mechanism. Create an instance of AV Speech Synthesizer to start generating synthesized speech by using AV Speech Utterance objects. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is create our utterance, and we're going to put that in the IB Action button, the Speak button. Let's go ahead and assign AB speech utterance. We're going to go ahead and use the string. And let's just go ahead and leave that blank for now. Up here, let's go ahead and create our string. We'll title it text to speak. And we'll just say, hello, how are things? So let's go ahead and take this variable and put it right here. Then to allow the button when pressed to speak the utterance, we're going to use synthesizer.speak. And inside the round brackets, we're going to put the utterance up here in the view did load. So we can view the text to speak string. Let's go ahead and use our label outlet dot text and we're going to assign the text to speak. Let's go ahead and run this on the iPhone 8. Now, when we press the speak button, it should speak this string here out loud. Hello, how are things? Okay, so those are the basics of how to get started with the AB Speech Synthesizer class. Let's go ahead and go over another example. Okay, so here we have another example with more options. So what we did with our storyboard, we've put a box here that allows us to put our text in, and whatever we put in here, we can use our buttons to speak it, to stop speaking, to pause the speaking, and to resume the speaking. And then here we can control the speed with the slider of the speaking. So first, let's just go ahead and type something. So if we hit start, it should say, how are things? How are things? Let's go ahead and put in a paragraph of text. And this is just the first paragraph in the Wikipedia article on Mars. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit start. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. In English, Mars. There, we hit pause. Now we can resume. 
carries the name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red Planet because the reddish iron ox. Pause again. Resume. Side prevalent on its surface gives it a reddish appearance that is distinctive among the astronomical bodies. Then we hit stop. Okay. And then if you want to restart, you just hit start. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar. And stop. Now, if you want to control the speed, we've set up this slider. So if you want to make it real slow, let's just put it on point one. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system. Let's hit stop. Let's make it real fast. Now, if you put it all the way up, it's so fast you probably won't even be able to understand it. So let's make it point seven. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. In English, Mars carries the name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red. Pause. Resume. Planet because the reddish iron oxide prevalent on its surface gives it a reddish appearance that is distinctive among the astronomical body. And stop. Okay, so let's go over some of this code. Just like before, we imported the AB Foundation. We went ahead and connected all of our buttons, our slider and our label and our text box. And you can see those connected here. Also, just like before, notice that we have our synthesizer variable. Here we have a variable for our speed. We went ahead and created our utterance. Then we use synthesizer.speak and we put in our utterance. We put our utterance.rate for the speed inside of our start button. For the stop, we use synthesizer.stop speaking and we use immediate. Now another option is you could use avspeechboundary.word, which will allow it to finish the word before it stops. For the pause, we use synthesizer.pause speaking. In that case, again, we use immediate. For resume, we use synthesizer.continue speaking. And then here we went ahead and set up our slider. Okay, so let's do a quick review on the AV speech synthesizer parts. You want to make sure you import AV foundation. Go ahead and create your synthesizer object or instance. To create your utterance, you can use AV speech utterance. To speak your utterance, you can use synthesizer.speak, put in your utterance. If you'd like to stop, you can use stop speaking. Pause, you can use pause speaking. Resume, you can use continue speaking. And if you'd like to control the speed of the voice, you can use utterance.rate. Then the sky's the limit on how you set up your app. Okay? That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.